Hi and welcome back. I'm going to start to build another engine. Uh, I've been looking at a few engines online. I, I didn't know whether to build a steam engine or a petrol engine. But I've decided on a V-twin petrol. So when you look, there's several plans available. Um, obviously what you can purchase and there's a couple on there which are free as well. And the one I've settled on is a Hogler V-twin. So this is uh, loosely based on a Harley Davidson motorbike engine. So what we've got in here, we've got a flywheel at the bottom, uh, which obviously drives two pistons, two cylinders, and then we've got push rods, valves, we've got springs to make, we've got gears to make, uh, rockers. So yeah, so it's gonna be a good build. Um, these plans were available from Model Engine Builder, and in particular issues 10 and 11, uh, they were free, uh, issued or freely issued with those two uh, magazines. You can download those um, for a small fee as a digital download. Um, it cost me around about six dollars each. Uh, that's New Zealand dollars um, for each issue. So cheap enough. So anyway, so what we're going to start with? We're going to start with the crankcase. Um, the crankcase is made out of aluminium plate. Um, and what, that was either going to be a choice of uh, cutting that on this on the mill machine or program the CNC to do that. So I've settled for the CNC, uh, so that's all ready to roll. So I'll bring you in and uh, you can have a look at that cutting one of the side plates out. So the piece of aluminium is held onto the timber with, with screws, just trapped it, you know, so it can't move. And I've done a touch off on the top of the aluminium, so the tip of the cutter knows where the top of the aluminium is. So we'll get the CNC running and we'll start to cut that side plate out. So all those parts came out pretty well. Uh, we've got a few like tool marks where obviously my um, CNC router isn't, you know, a really rigid. So we're still going to get a few tool marks around there, but we can, um, you know, obviously file those off at a later date. So this one here, you, where the tabs, because we have to use tabs to keep the aluminium in, you know, while we're cutting it. So um, where it comes across those tabs when it's cutting, we get a bit of tool deflection. So on these pieces, it didn't really matter so much because I had two on the bottom. You can see them there, and then um, one on the, each one of the um, tops. So eventually, that's going to be covered up by the uh, crank crankcase tops. So that's no problem. And uh, the same with this one. We've got a little bit of um, tool mark here. Um, the bottom ones off pretty much more or less filed off on the bottoms. So um, yeah, so we've got one more to do, which is this one. So we'll just uh, file them off and um, I'm going to leave these, these are slightly, very slightly oversized because um, obviously during the engine's build we're going to be taking the engine bits, putting it back together so we might mark these. So I didn't want to, you know, have a finish on them and, um, you know, obviously get a mark in there somewhere right at the end stage of putting it together. So anyway, we'll put this one in the vise and then we'll get rid of these uh, tabs. So we'll just use quite a rough file just to get rid of the worst of it and then um, we'll work down till we get to a real smart, uh, real smooth file.
So I think what I'm going to do is uh, super glue these two together. And that way, when we start to, we've got to drill eight holes in here and we've got four to hold the cylinder head on. And then obviously four fixings to hold these onto the crankcase sides. So I want to, rather than set up twice and do each individually, I'm just going to super glue them together and then um, we'll just drill straight through. So I'll just wipe these with a piece of a bit of acetone. Just get rid of the grease and the oil off there. Get them up the right way will help. And then this is just normal super glue, nothing special. So the hoglet plans are all in Imperial and the nuts, bolts and threads we've got to cut are all in UNC. But I'm going to change some of those over to metric simply because I've got metric nuts and bolts in stock. So on the cylinder, on the crankcase tops here, we're going to be drilling eight holes. Um, four of those are going to be through holes and the other um, four are going to be uh, threaded M3. So we're going to work from the bottom, which is our datum line here. We're going to get to the center of the circle and then the, foot, the eight holes are then worked off from the center of the circle. Next job we've got is to make some uh, crankshaft bearings. So I'm going to make those out of brass. Um, the engine isn't going to be run a huge amount, so I don't really need, I mean, the plans call for bearing bronze, but I haven't got any of that. So brass is going to be okay. I mean, if they do happen to wear out, I'll just make some more. But, you know, it'd be different if I was running the engine that shows, you know, where it's running hours on end. I would def definitely make them out of bronze then. But just for an engine which is going to be run occasionally, I think brass is just going to be ideal. And if it wears out, I can soon make some new ones anyway. 
So we'll get that chucked up and we'll get those machined. So that's the first few parts made uh, all the crank cases are all now pretty much complete and we've made the crank bearings as well so they'll eventually they'll get pushed into where the holes are here and um, I haven't put those in yet because um, I'm using metric aluminium which is uh, six millimeters you know thick whereas on the plans it's quarter inch uh, being imperial but um, that makes a difference when I come to obviously put the engine together finally I'll have a bit more distance in here to make up because I don't know what the crank end float is. So until I know that, I'm not going to press these in. Uh, when, the, when the engine is finished, I'll then work out you know, what I need and then I may just have to just skim these. Um, I've made them slightly wider, so I'll just have to skim those before we press them in. Anyway, so that's it on this video. Uh, next video, I'll probably have a look at the crank pins. Um, I haven't made my mind up yet, but anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.